Today on our 2015 Honda Odyssey, we're doing a test fit of the Swagman Trailhead Hanging Style 4 Bike Rack. That part number is S63380. Now we already have our bike strapped down. We're first going to show you how we secure that. We have two cradles holding our bike into place with three straps on our frame and then one as our anti-sway strap in the back. To release those, we're just going to pull down and lift up. And then we'll be able to pull our bike off our rack. With our bike out of the way, we can replace our straps, which I, I always suggest you do so you don't lose or damage any of them. And now we'll take a few measurements. So our first ones are overall with our arms hanging out. We're going to have about 34 inches to our back to the back of our vehicle. If we come up here and remove this pin and clip We are able to rotate those arms down and this will make it easier to fit in small parking spaces or even your garage. Here we're only adding about 17 and a half inches. Our ground clearance is going to be about 16 inches and our closest point is about four and a half inches. Now, if we come down here to the center and we undo our knob in the back, rotate that plate up and remove our pin and clip here, we can then rotate and move our bike rack out of the way to gain full access to our back hatch area to get anything in or out that we may need. If we close that up, we can lift straight up on the rack, replace that pin and clip, and then tighten down that bolt with the plate again. Now taking a look at our hitch, this is designed to work with inch and a quarter and two inch hitches, so we have our adapter on there. We also have an anti-rattle bolt and clip holding that in place. Now that's going to keep a lot of the play and shake out of the bike rack as you're heading down the road. So you're going to have a pretty smooth ride. So that's going to complete our look at the Swagman Trailhead Hanging Style 4 Bike Rack, part number S63380 on our 2015 Honda Odyssey. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the solemn. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.